Hey guys, uh, really quickly, I know I promised at the end of the last video that we would just be jumping into the Daily Big Three, but there's one thing that I wanted to interject here because I think it's a significant moment of how I have grown in the last two years of using the Full Focus Planner. It is right there, the ideal week. Now, I'll be honest, when I started using the Full Focus Planner, I filled this out and I, I watched all of Michael's videos and I filled out that ideal week and then I looked at what my week actually looks like and they were worlds apart. And it kind of took some wind out of my sails. I lost a bit of steam and enthusiasm. I think that's why at the end of that first quarter, I was kind of like, yeah, it was a nice, it was a nice planner. I'll give it one more shot. And I did. And that second time, I didn't fill out the ideal week because I already kind of knew what it was. And it just, it hurt to know like, this is what I want and this is where I'm at. The third time I got my notebook, I looked at it and I spent a lot of time processing. And I filled in a couple of things. I think I filled in like Monday and Tuesday. And then I quit. And the fourth time that I got this journal, I filled it out and thought, you know what? I'm so far from where I want to be, but I need to give it a shot. As it so happens, I also uh, checked in with my coach during uh, that quarter and he challenged me and said, hey, uh, you're, you're doing a lot of growth. You got a lot of good things going on. What's your ideal week look like? And like, he doesn't know that I use this. Uh, he, we hadn't talked about it before. It was a, a challenge that he threw out to me to kind of craft my ideal week. And I went back. And I looked and I, I, I spent time as part of my homework with him crafting my ideal week. And I went back and I looked and I had actually made some progress from that first time that I wrote my ideal week a year ago. There had been some minor changes, but mostly I was surprised over the course of the year without doing any of the exercises in it. My ideal week had stayed largely the same. My, my concept of what my ideal week would look like. And I thought, well, if I can make a little bit of progress while not even noticing or paying attention to it, maybe I can make some significant progress if I actually engage in this discipline. And so at the end of that first year, I, I have come to love the ideal week. It's what allows me to say yes and no to things with so much greater clarity. And so don't gloss over those few pages of what it is the ideal week looks like. Open it up here for you. Of course, now the pages are sticking together. <laughs> Now the daily rituals right there is the ideal week. Chance starts at 5 a.m. ends at 9 p.m. What does what does your ideal week look like? Can you even answer that question? I think part of why I struggled at first was because it was something honestly I'd never thought about before. But now it's become this: I know what I'm striving for, and so I can fit into. Nope, sorry, I I can't take this. I I, I have to decline this opportunity. That as I continue to pursue. What I sense is my ideal week. This has actually given me a lot of freedom and discipline that I missed. And so one of the regrets that I have in the first year of using the planner was I didn't use the, the ideal week. So if you are thinking about getting a planner, if you're already using it, do not overlook the significance of the ideal week. It has been transformative for me in my experience, not just in using the full focus planner, but in how my day is structured and in the joy that I get. Because now I know, based on my ideal week, hey, when it's family time, everything goes off. I leave my phone in the bedroom, my laptop goes off, like I get to be fully present with my kids, which is ultimately what I'm looking for as a definition of success, is family time. So if you're using the full focus planner, go ahead and let me know how you use your ideal week. If you kind of ignored it like I did, circle back around and start using it. If you're thinking about using the full focus planner, tell me one significant thing that you would change if you had an ideal week. Now we can get on to the daily big three.